New details just weeks after introducing a potential new approach to determining what students can and cannot read in school. The Hanover County School Board has already received a lengthy list of books an out-of-state based organization wants off the shelves. 8 News reporter Sierra Krug has more. The list proposes the banning of around 100 books so far, but it also included a note saying it is just a beginning. That's what has some parents questioning how far it'll expand. Recently proposed book review policy changes already stirring controversy in Hanover County. One of these changes would have any books accused of being vulgar or obscene immediately removed from shelves while under review. Something community members like Shoshana Spiegel worry will be taken advantage of. It was actually very surprised to see a physical list. Now, the school board confirming just weeks after the announcement, they've already received an extensive list of more than 100 recommended bans. We have seen this before. The Nazis have tried to uh, burn books and erase the contents. Reasoning ranges from including content like alternate gender ideologies, controversial social and racial commentaries, to alternate sexualities and self-harm. Seems the group who submitted the list says shouldn't be consumed by children. I don't think that it protects children from the real world. Uh, you can't shelter them from uh, from our history, we have to face it. Beagle is angry to see so many books like works from Judy Bloom, Ruby Carr, and historical novels in jeopardy. Some local Hanover parents worry this is the beginning of a messy censorship battle. It, we need to get ahead of this. It is happening net nationwide. I think it will be abused. I think it will um, affect impacted marginalized communities. The Hanover County School Board reiterated those recent proposed book review policy changes are still in the early stages and haven't been approved yet. Meanwhile, the next Board of Supervisors meeting is tomorrow. In Hanover, Sierra Krug, 8 News.